Tyler Perry put me in this movie! Ah! This wasn't the venue YouTuber Yusuf Arakat, known as Fusi, had in mind. The opinions expressed in this video are for entertainment purposes only and are not to be taken seriously. If you do, however, take them seriously, that's your own f***ing problem. Michael is not responsible for any hurt feelings throughout the course of this video. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, Drank, OVO! Yo, I'm trying to look like you, dog. Is it working? No, I'm not, but some girls do call me Champagne Poppy. I got a girlfriend, though, so it don't matter. Sorry, ladies. The king is back. That what you put into my head made me want to kill myself! I need your energy, Drake. This is energy. Energy! Got a lot of energy. All right, so I wanted to make this quick little disclaimer. Uh, I'm not really going to roast FouseyTube as much because he basically roasts himself throughout all of these events. But I do want to point something out, okay? FouseyTube is a prime example of someone who fakes a personality and gains benefit from it, right? Um, people who put on an act for other people uh, get to a point where they don't know what act to put on. And I feel like with YouTube and just social media in general, people see what works and they kind of try to emulate it as opposed to just feeding off their own talent and creative juices. And on social media, people kind of just see what works and they want it so bad that they substitute their own personality to do what that guy's doing or what she did to get a million followers or a million views or whatever. And that kind of progresses itself in some people's minds and brains uh, and it envelops their own personality and they get lost. They don't know who they are. But yeah, I just, you know, a little food for thought. I just wanted to let you guys know. Didn't really want to get too serious. Let's go on to the, the joyous, funny, awesome video that I have prepared. The king is back. The king is back. He's here. I personally don't think he's ever left, but the king is present and accounted for. So a lot of you may know TanaCon just passed like two weeks ago. FouseyTube, a former awesome prankster on YouTube, saw this and was like, Psh, I can do that. He said, I'm just gonna throw a free concert. And this is five days before the event. He said he was gonna call it Hate Dies, Love Arrives, trying to push a positive message to the youth. You know, cool. Hell yeah, you push that positivity. I I'm cool with all that. Good vibes and all that shit. You know, that's dope. Um, the only thing is he used Drake to promote this event. He started hinting at the fact that he was going to have Drake perform at this free concert. He posted this video like every day and he just called it Drake July 15th and used a picture of Drake. So, I mean, I don't blame people for assuming that Drake might be here. That's like you being seven years old and your birthday's coming up and your parents are like, hey, uh, what kind of birthday party do you want? What kind of theme? And you're just like, you know what? I want, I want a Looney Tunes themed birthday party. And, the, and then they don't say that they're gonna get you a Looney Tunes themed birthday party, but your invitations that you send to other people are Looney Tunes. You see them get like Looney Tunes balloons, right? In the package. And then you see them buy like a Looney Tunes cake, but then you show up to your birthday party and you got a normal chocolate cake with black and white balloons. You're gonna be like, damn, I was misled. I was misled, you guys are sneaky. I come to you with love in my heart. I come to you with love in my heart. I come to you with nothing but love in my heart for you. Three times must be the magic number. The first time I didn't really believe him. For sure he's got love in his heart, I can tell you that. By 9 p.m. tonight, two million live viewers will be tuned in to see Drake live on stage at Hey Dies, Love Arrives. I need you guys to use your energy of love and life. All right, so he's basically posting stories like this, just like, I need you guys' energy. He said it, he said Drake was gonna perform. Apparently the night before, he like tracked down Drake. I literally look like a crazy person right now because I'm outside of the place that you're at. Don't ask me how I found it, bruh. God put me here, I'm on God's plan right now. I'm walking in God's purpose. My stars aligned. I never thought I'd be at the place, literally, where Drake is right now. I have a message, I'm on a mission. I just need 30 seconds of your time and I promise you'll understand. He basically explained on uh, like a podcast that he never really met Drake. He, he basically took 20 minutes to explain the fact that he got into the same club as Drake and then he stayed in, in the club after the club was closed and it was basically Drake's team and then him and he was five feet away from Drake and everyone's just kind of like, Br you, bro, you didn't meet Drake. So fast forward the day of the event, hate dies love arrives right that's what he named it he gets all of his uh, little really cringy youtuber friends to like intro the event for him a and it's just really funny it's hilarious <laughs> Let's do a 
for the community. Let's do it for love. Okay. Listen to my boy Rob. All right. I uh. Hey, let's do it for love. It was like 10 seconds of words, and he passed the microphone already. Uh, let's do it big. That's what we want to do. Everything you want to do in life, you really want to do it big. So I can't knock him for stating that. Let's see what Rug has to say. Yo, what's up in LA? Thank you guys so much for coming out and showing support. What's popping? Yo, what's up in LA? What is popping, bro? That's that's the greatest greeting you could ever give at a live event. What's popping? That's all I want to know. Just let me know what's popping. Love arrives, hate dies, you already know what it is. And I'm gonna hand over the mic to Alex Wasabi, give it up. It's like a relay race with the microphone. Everyone's just like, I don't want it. Ugh. They're playing hot potato with the shit. Hate dies, love arrives, you already know what it is. No one knows what it is. This is crazy, this is gonna be crazy. I don't know exactly what's about to go down, but I'm excited. I'm part of the event. I'm on stage right now. Fousey's my friend. I don't know what's going on, really. I like how FaZe Rug said, you guys already know what's going on. And then Alex Wasabi right after states, I don't know what's going on. I don't <laughs> so what is it? Do we know what's going on? Do we not know what's going on? I don't like the structure of this event. Mind you, everyone's expecting Drake at this concert or to be the closer or the main event or something. And this is what they got instead. Lit like a big all these bitches on my dick. Gotta fuck me and they think. And the musical stylings of Lit Poppy, ladies and gentlemen, that was incredible. I like how he swallowed in the middle of his verse. No, with the shit, say, no. <laughs> so basically, this little concert went on for about an hour. He had a maybe 10 artists, and they were all just as amazingly awesome as this guy. You know, wordplay off the charts. The bars were incredible. So fast forward past this concert, there was apparently a, a bomb threat at this at this theater, and everyone had to get evacuated. Around this time, Fuzi was on his way to the event, and they told him that there was a bomb threat. I don't know why he wasn't at his event to begin with, how you have like 10 other YouTubers at your event, introing your event very cringily, and you're not even there to intro your event. So everyone gets evacuated, uh, Fuzi gets there apparently, and he decides the show must go on. You know, I'm an entertainer above all. I, I can't let all these people go home disappointed. They wanted to see Drake, I'm gonna give him a show that's worth watching. The YouTuber himself is actually on top of a car uh. and he's been talking to a bunch of his fans down here, uh, holding his own little uh, impromptu event. So there he is on top of the vehicle right there with the crowd. Before I even got to tell my story, you're making a documentary on it so you can post it after the fact. So if it flops, you can have the hot news on how Fousey fucked up and he should kill himself. Right. Or if it's a success, I become a good person. Well, why are you gonna profit on me being a good person? You hear the people cheering him on? Yes! Up and he should kill himself. Right. I don't get why one event determines whether or not you should kill yourself or that you're a good person. These things aren't don't seem related to me. I don't know why he's so fixated on the fact of like if the event was successful and he did get Drake, that he would be a good person. It would just mean that you didn't let everyone down. But hey, what do I know? I, I just I just be talking shit. I love fucking banks. I love banks. Yeah. You know why? That year that I gave up, I would DM banks at random, and he's at the top running shit in LA, and he would still DM me back. I got love in my heart, heart full of love, and I get it back. You know, because when I DM'd other people, they responded to me. Usually people ignore me. Also, why is he pulling why is he pulling his shirt up? It's like only his midsection, like his belly button is really hot. He he generates a lot of heat from his navel. You're still talking about the little things. You're heating up your breakfast when I'm heating up my dinner. <laughs> yeah. You tell him, Fousey. Hey, I like breakfast for dinner, so what are you saying? You talking shit about me now? I love some scrambled eggs at dinner time. You don't like breakfast for dinner? Huh? Everyone loves breakfast. I'll eat breakfast at 2 a.m., 5 a.m., noon, motherfucking 4 p.m., 9 p.m. You burning in the summer while I'm bundled up in the winter. <laughs> All right, well, that doesn't really say anything. You're obviously in two separate geographical locations. Shortly after, he starts losing his mind on top of this car in front of all these maybe 200 people, I don't know, 300 people, however many people are. It's a, it's a lot of people. He premieres a song. 
that he apparently made. He was going to premiere it at this event, I guess before Drake, after Drake. That was the entire point of this event. And he used Drake to promote the entire event just to premiere his song and his, his music video. Now I know what you're thinking. It must be a really positive song. It must be a life-changing song. He's, he's spewing wisdom, for sure. Wisdom bars. He screams so loud. Yo, Khaled, acting is not working out for me. Can I get on your album, maybe? Absolutely not. Don't play yourself. Okay, the title of the song and video is called Four Ghosts featuring Lil Cara, which I'm guessing is Fousey, and then it says featuring DJ Khaled. You got 10 million subscribers. You don't have to clickbait that hard. That's something that like, you know, anyone under maybe 100, 200K should be doing, you know, maybe to just push the fact, oh, that's funny, yeah, it's featuring DJ Khaled, and he is not. DJ Khaled's not in the song, you know? That's where that ego comes in. It's like, I need the most views possible. If it's just, titled Four Ghosts, Lil Cara, and it's on my account, you know, no one's gonna care. Christ ain't got no spirit, got no deep layer. One ghost writer, one ghost for not player. One ghost thinker, one ghost Twitter poster. Add it up, that's a rice gum, stole everything in his life, uh. The king's back. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, let's just, hold on, let's just, let's just hit the facts really quickly. So, Tyler Perry put me in this movie! A week in advance, he made the song. He said it. And then he goes on this, on all of these rants on social media talking about, I got this energy, you know, I'ma speak what my dreams out into existence, I got love. I only got love in my heart. Trying to push positivity, going to social media saying that this is God's plan, that like trying to hit up Drake and saying, I'm on God's plan right now. I just need you at this free concert that I decided to throw last week. Drake's a busy man. He probably, he, every single day was probably booked, first of all. Hey, Drake, come to my concert in, in, in a week. For free, though. I'm, we're going to make no money. You don't know me at all. I'm really cringy. Uh, I have a beard like yours. I'm trying to look like you. I'm going to name my event Hate Dies, Love Arrives, because, you know, it's a beautiful play on words. It kind of rhymes. He did all of this just to premiere a diss track on Rice Gum. What? What? Basically, the whole song is dedicated to Rice Gum, dissing him, saying that he's got ghostwriters, he doesn't play his own Fortnite. I'm just confused. How are you gonna promote an entire Hate Dies, Love Arrives event and then make merch July 15th, a week prior, talking about Drake is gonna be at my concert, I'm putting the energy out here. And, and it's, you know, if I speak it, it has to come true just to promote a diss track about another YouTuber. I don't, that, that doesn't make sense. That's crazy. That's psychopathic. You put all this pressure on yourself. You don't even need a, he said, you know what? My words are so powerful. I'm gonna just tell everyone that I'm throwing an event and then we just gonna see how it goes. Tana Khan wasn't a success cause she don't know how to speak it into existence, bruh. News came out that apparently Drake has never heard of Fousey or never even knew that Fousey was trying to contact him or that Fousey wanted him to go to his event. So it's all really sketchy and weird. It's just weird. Ultimately, it's weird. Also, during the event, he was streaming it. It got taken down, but during the event, he was streaming it, and he said, two million viewers for Drake. You, he was never going, so where, like as if Drake was at a hotel just waiting, like, wait till this shit hits two mil, then I'll, I'll pop off. Like, Drake really texted him back, like, you know what? I'm not gonna perform unless you get two million viewers. We have similar beards, I like you. So, ultimately, from the beginning, he did all this event planning and going on social media and ranting and talking about love and spreading love just to promote a diss track. How are you gonna diss? First of all, Rice Gum hasn't even, I'm, I'm up on the diss track culture, you know what I'm saying? I love beef. Rice Gum hasn't been in any beef for like eight months. How are you gonna drop a diss track when he's not even dissing with anyone? See, leading back to the bomb threat that was called in, I think it was someone from him or his team because there, there was no way for him to really face that L. He kinda had to be like, now he could say, oh, you know, there was a bomb threat, so everything got evacuated, and then Drake didn't show because there was a bomb threat, because it was unsafe. It just, it seemed like the ultimate cop-out. I don't know, that's just me. 
So hopefully I'm wrong, because you know, I got a, I got a heart full of love. Uh, you know what I'm saying? This is what being in the public eye does to people. When you fake a personality, and when you just act like someone that's not yourself, you get lost in the translation, and you don't remember who yourself is, and you live life trying to please other people, and like, it's cool, yeah, give the people what they want, like if you're an entertainer, but at the end of the day, you gotta stay true to yourself. As stupid and cliche as that sounds, you gotta stay true to yourself, you gotta be yourself, and if people don't like you, uh, f*** them. Yo, what's poppin' LA? So yeah, what a successful event. Uh, let me know down below in the comments if you'll come to Mike, Michael Khan. I'm gonna throw a Michael Khan. Just a, a week prior too, cause you know, f your convenience. If you can't make it, oh well. I'll see you the next one, sporadically that I make. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about this entire situation. Do you, are you a FouseyTube fan? I don't know, I just, I just see a lot of qualities of fake on so many YouTubers and uh, any, any opportunity I get to kind of point it out to you guys the way I, I see things I, I'm gonna take. So FouseyTube basically lost his mind for the clout. All he wanted was clout. He wanted his clout back in a sense and I think he got the opposite of that. So yeah, anyways guys, if you did enjoy the video, drop a like, uh, I appreciate it. Every like counts. Uh, I need more clout, basically. Also guys, if you did make it up until this point, thank you so much. I appreciate you for sticking all the way through it. If you did make it up until this point, comment clout down below. If you did make it up until this point, make sure to comment clout down below. Comment clout so I know you watched the entire video. That's all I got for today, man. My name is Michael. Ta-ta for now. And at the end of my videos, I'll be like, ooh, hey. Wait a minute. Hey, yo. Hey.